everyone and welcome back to my channel where I make videos on femininity, homemaking and simple living. So if any of those topics interest you then please do make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today as promised I wanted to do a clean with me, specifically the weekly blessing hour out of the fly lady. So this is typically what I'll do on a weekend. Um, sorry if you can hear Murphy's little paws on the floor. He's just walking around. Do you want to be picked up? Yeah, Murphy wants to be in the video. <laughs> So these are the things that I do on a weekend that I don't typically do within the week. So things like hoovering and just pretty much anything that needs doing. So usually it takes me about an hour. I'll be completely honest that this week it's taken me upwards of nearly two hours. But I think that is more the fact that it's taken me long to film. This is my first ever clean with me video. Um, and it's all quite new to me, setting up the camera angles and things like that. But usually, to be fair, it would just take me about an hour so without talking too much I'm gonna get straight on in with the video and show you my cleaning and I hope it also motivates you to clean today okay so first I started with the kitchen and this is where I probably spent the most of the time today cleaning because it really did need it as you can see from these before shots so the first thing I started to do is just clearing the sides so I always collect any dirty dishes and just put them on this little space Side the sink so that it's just easier to clear them up and then I'm just putting anything else away in cupboards that are left out. Here I'm just breaking down a box that we got delivered today and for me the only way to really break it down is to put it on the floor and stamp all over it. Probably not the most graceful but it's got to be done. Then I'm just putting it in our recycling bin that we keep in a cupboard and then every evening we'll go out and put all the recycling in the bin. Now I'm just doing the dishes which is pretty self-explanatory, just using some fairy liquid and away I go. So the next step for me is to dry the dishes and get all them put away because if I've got dishes out on the side of the sink then it's much harder to clean so I just like to put everything away before I get started on my sink. So now time for the favourite part of mine for cleaning my kitchen and that is cleaning my sink. So I just get started by boiling the kettle. I then put some bicarbonate of soda all around my sink and then put some white vinegar over it which makes it all fizz up and then I will just use that to clean all around the sink. Once all around the sink has been cleaned, I'll then put a cap of Zaflora down the drain and then I will just use the boiling water from the kettle just to push all that down at the sink which makes everything smell incredible and the scent of the Zaflora just fills the entire kitchen. And now I'm just cleaning my drying rack and the side of my sink so that everywhere is done. And then I'll just buff our kitchen tap using some window cleaner and the window cleaner minky cloth. Since I've got the window cleaner and my minky out, I will also use that just to clean my microwave, the outside of it, and also the outside of my fridge. The next step for me is just to clean all my surfaces and my cabinets and I use this just using a cloth and elbow grease spray. Mm. 
So now we're on to cleaning the hob. So first I just put some sif on it and I have to do it in the shape of a heart because it just wouldn't be any fun if I did anything else. And then I just get a scrubbing brush and just scrub any food that we have stuck on there or any burn marks. Next is actually a tip that I saw from Mrs. Hinch's Instagram and that is to use a squeegee on your hob and honestly it works wonders. So once I've done that I'll just give it another clean with a cloth before going in with my window cleaner and minky to give it a good shine. Next for the kitchen is to hoover up so when I'm doing my surfaces I just throw any bits onto the floor which might be lazy but hey ho it all gets done in the end. So I just pick up all those bits with a hoover and anything else that has accumulated. And then next is to mop the floor. So I use the flora and water to clean my floor. Just a note if you have got any pets, then make sure you dilute your Zaflora properly because there has been horror stories of pets with Zaflora. So I make sure I put only a tiny bit of Zaflora in comparison to the amount of water I put in. And then that is the kitchen completely done. So I will just light a candle and I'm really happy with the progress of the kitchen today. So next I'm moving on to the bathroom. So as I mentioned in my last Fly Lady video, when you're kind of keeping on top of the bathroom, which I do every day, there's actually not that much to do. So first I just started by picking up all the mats and I will replace those with fresh ones in a little bit. Next I actually do something quite strange and I've not seen anyone else do this but I just get some toilet paper and sort of wipe around my bathroom just to pick up any dust because I find if I go in with a cleaner then all I'm really cleaning is dust and it just gets really messy and frustrating so I like to pick up the dust first. I'm then going in and cleaning my toilet and I'm not going to explain to you too much about how I do this because I'm sure you are all well versed in cleaning your toilets. Well I hope so anyway. The next thing I do is clean my bath and this actually really needed a scrub today because I scrubbed my fake tan off yesterday in the bath so I had some of those orange marks that you get around the side of your bath. So how I clean my bath is actually to use a dish matic that I only use for the bathroom and this just really helps me with my back. I don't know if anyone else struggles bending over the bath um, but I find this a lot easier so I just use a Viacal spray and my dish matic. Then once I have cleaned all around the side of the bath I will then just use my shower to hose everything down and then I'll use a cloth to pick up any foam from the side of the bath. Next I'm just shining my tap with the minky cloth and then I will also use the minky cloth on the glass pane above the sink as well. So for the shower, I don't know any other way to clean it other than getting in. And yes, there have been times where I have accidentally turned on my shower and soaked myself. But that didn't happen today, luckily. So I just went in and sprayed some fire cut around and wiped around what I could see that was dirty. And then I just rearranged my shampoo bottles so they looked a little bit neater. Next I'm just using my daily shower shine from Astonish. And I just spray this and leave it on. It's designed just to be sprayed and left so I use this every day and it's absolutely great for preventing buildup of lime scale. 
Next, I'm just cleaning my sink. So I will first go in and clean out my toothbrush holder and then I will kind of just use the same method that I used in the bath using my Dishmatic and Viacal for the sink. So to clean my mirror and also my radiator cover, I just use a minky cloth and a window cleaner. Can you tell that I have about a million minky cloths because I just swear by them for anything that's stainless steel or mirrors. <laughs> Now I'm just cleaning the floor and I do usually mop it but for today I just did a quick wipe because that's all I had time for. And now I'm just putting down some fresh mats. Once the fresh mats are down I'm just going to give them a spray of this carpet fresh cleaner which I absolutely love and it makes every room smell incredible. And then that is the end of the bathroom cleaning for today. Next we're moving on to the master bedroom and I actually had a big pile of clothes on my bed today because I got these down from the loft. This is all my really warm winter clothing and Christmas jumpers. So all I really needed to do was just fold them up and put them in a basket where I can keep all my warm jumpers together so that they're easier to find. So first I just folded all of them up and put them in my basket to keep in my wardrobe. And then next I'm just straightening up my bed. So it was actually my fiance who made our bed this morning and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this, but I just have slightly higher standards for the bed. <laughs> so I just laid out the pillows in the way that I like to do them and refolded the blankets. Next I'm just cleaning the mirrors in the bedroom. Next is just to quickly dust all the sides. And then finally, I'm just going in with a quick hoover before finishing off with the carpet spray fresh. So now we're moving on to our second bedroom which I sort of use as an office and also a gym so it's kind of used for a few different things at the moment. So there wasn't much to do in here. First I just cleaned my desk with elbow grease and one of my wipes. And then just wiping down all of our gym equipment. Now I'm just cleaning the mirror. This mirror does actually get quite a bit of dust on it. So I also clean this in the week as well. And then finally, I'm just finishing off again with hoovering and then the carpet fresh spray. Thank you. 
So the last room to do is our living room, which more just needed tidying more than anything. I sort of keep up with the living room during the week. So as you can see here, I'm just tidying up my coffee table and then I'm folding up any blankets and just generally tidying up the place. Next I'm just running the hoover around so I like to move our coffee table around as I do this to make sure that I get every last spot and then again I'm just finishing off with my carpet spray fresh so my whole house pretty much smells of that stuff by the time I've finished cleaning but it's just incredible and it makes you feel so clean and it's just nice to have a really fresh smell when you're finished cleaning. So the final thing I do is just collect any tea towels or cloths I've used during the cleaning process and I'll just put them in my washing machine for a spin for one hour on 60 degrees to try and get rid of all that bacteria. And then that is the end of my cleaning. Okay, so that is my first ever clean with me video. What do you think, Murphy? I don't think you're too impressed. Murphy doesn't like it when I clean, especially when I hoover. If Murphy had his way the whole time, then my whole house would just be a tip. <laughs> and I'd just lay on the sofa all day with him. So that is the end of this clean with me video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please let me know if you want to see them again and I will continue to keep doing them. I know cleaning videos are something that I personally really enjoy watching. So hopefully you do too. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I I will see you in my next one. Bye from me and bye from Murphy. <laughs>